once I found out I could record and make songs and I played it for people and they liked it, you know, I, I definitely you know I wanted to do this. And then I spent a lot of time just doing that, making songs, ended up writing songs for people, producing songs for people. And then once I got that two to the Buddha shit popping with YG and we did a couple shows and I seen my nigga come out with 10 bands and he'd give me my little 400, get mustard his little 400 and walk away with that stack. I was like, you know what, nigga? I'm finna do this shit. <laughs> you feel me? How old so, were you when you started recording? When you started fucking around music? When I started fucking around with music, my pop said I was eight, really. Like, just playing keys and playing bass and playing guitar and drums. And then, you know, once once uh, Tootie and Booty came out, that's probably when I really took this artist shit all the way serious. I had little mixtapes before that, but, you, you feel, know. You feel like you're always improving as a musician? Definitely, it goes up each time. I might I might have even been harder back then because that's when I was really just trying to do some crazy shit. And it's crazy to me, but like to the world, you know, I'm definitely doing my shit right now. And it feels good just to have people listening. How have things changed since, uh, you know, people kind of know who you are, since you kind of, you know, started well, making your mark? Definitely my, my uh, show rate has gone up a lot. My, uh, my uh, um, price for making songs for people is going up. Uh, my pussy rate is going up. Um, it feels good, man. I'm able to get my daughter whatever she wants at any time, take her anywhere. She, well, I'm really not able to be with her as much as I would like to because I'm always gone. So that, that's what sucks me. But other than that, you know, everything's good. It's all sacrificing to, you know, get to the next level. So say, for, there, for her life, she won't have to, you know, do much. Are there any unexpected challenges or bonuses that you didn't kind of think that would come with being in the music game? Uh, Nah, it feels good. Everything is great. Every, everything about it is great. I mean, sometimes, like, luckily, at my label, I'm, I'm like, with, the, with people that believe in me, and like, I get to choose what's going on, and, and, and it ends up working, so then I'm right, so I get to keep on going. Like, other people, they have to, like, have everything written for them and be a tool, and luckily, like, I'm in a good position. That's good. Did you kind of know that would be the one for you? Yeah, because, like, the first time we performed it, the crowd was singing it the next the, the next time around, you know what I mean? So I was like, damn, that's never happened. And then when I played Paranoid, we did the same thing, so I knew, you know, so it's crazy. I mean, or no, I was doing the same thing again. <laughs> I mean, this yeah. is all kind of a start. What would you see as, uh, you know, next for yourself? Next for myself, I just see, uh, you know, more music, growth in music, you know, quality music, better videos, like not this regular rap shit that niggas do, but, ass, titties, cars, you know? It's gonna be more like on some art, crazy shit, some, you know, putting some thought into it and trying to like go for it. I mean, do you have any, any 